Hello, everyone. I'm Sam Ekman of Gold Derby. With me is Waruche Opia of I May Destroy You, the new limited series. And, you know, this show feels so relevant and poignant for right now. It tackles a lot of issues we're, we're talking about in this current moment and has a definite, you know, millennial point of view that not many shows, I think, do. I'm just wondering, when you first uh, got a hold of the script, what was your initial reaction towards it? Oh my goodness, I need to be a part of this. Um, <laughs> I actually got the script after I had received the offer, so I had no idea of what exactly I was auditioning for. All I was given were the sides um, for Terry and Arabella, and which I'd auditioned for. And then uh, when my agent had called me and said that she, I'd gotten an offer, that she sent the script over. And I happened to have been, I was actually filming a pilot in the States and um, just literally after the pilot had finished, the read through was a few days after. So I hadn't actually read the script and I read the script on my trip back home from Virginia to London. So I'm on the plane. I did not sleep a wink because <laughs> I was reading this in the darkness and I was looking around and I was like, oh my God, nobody knows what I'm reading right now. This is history and I need to be a part of it. So um, it definitely blew my mind the first time I read it and I was like, yeah, this is, I need to be part of this. <laughs> yeah. I, I think um, one of the aspects it covers so well is just, you know, because it delves into consent and power in, in sexual situations and mm -hmm. how the, those aspects are really, you know, all around us constantly. And was there any sort of moment in the script uh, over the course of these episodes that opened your eyes to that concept in a new way? Uh, the idea of consent. Yeah, and just how it, there's so many different um, versions of, of consent and how it's it's really everywhere, places we don't think about. Yeah, I mean, I definitely learned a lot about consent. I learned about the gray areas as well, um, which we see especially with Terry when she has her trip to um, Italy and, uh, in you know, she thinks she's, consenting to this um, sexual adventure. And then in the end, she finds out that these two guys are actually together. So then that shows the juxtaposition of was she actually in control? Did she give her consent to be in the situation with two people who knew each other or did she, was she taken advantage of? So uh, in, a, in an incident like that, I was more aware of the differences and, you know, the importance of consent and, you know, having, you know, people being safe and you know knowing what they're going into um but yeah the in i didn't it made me understand it more and realize the importance of it even more i yeah. think yeah that was a really powerful moment you had when um when terry watches the two men from her window leave together and suddenly like everything on your face changes and there's a lot mm. that's um left for you to do as an actress without any dialogue you don't get like a big you know monologue to express that is that more difficult for you uh when it all has to be on your face or do you prefer having having words to express oh i think it's more exposing because you don't have the words to hide behind um you'll see the truth in a person's expressions, in their eyes, I think more than anything. So um, there is a difficulty in that, in you know those quiet moments where there's no words spoken, but you are telling everything. Um, but I also enjoy language. So I also like, you know, the speaking and the monologue part. So I do think I like, yeah, but the no words is quite fun to do because it's like, what can you really come across with? <laughs> <laughs> Without the words, you're just blabbing and distracting. Um, they both, I think they're both equally as powerful, but I definitely like the um, silent moments. They, they are, for me, more challenging as an actor. Yeah. You share a lot of moments with Michaela Cole, who you know not only plays uh, your best friend, she stars uh, as the centerpiece of the show, but also co-directed mm -hmm. many of the episodes and, and wrote the series. Um, what is it like sharing a scene with someone who is so entrenched in this story, who created this story? It's beautiful. Um, I think 
the one of the best parts of the show was it being hers and having her there at every moment. And even in the scenes where we're not even together, she's still there. But she wrote it. She knows what it's like in her head. And so having her there to kind of guide and, you know, allow you to bring her story to life was very beautiful. I thoroughly enjoyed it. I mean, Michaela's an incredible human. I don't know how she does it. Um, present at all times. So even when she's acting, she's completely there. And then the camera's cut and she goes because she's directing. So she's looking at the monitors and making sure everything's right. But then we also had Sam Miller, who's incredible. And they had the same vision. So I guess she also had that level of trust where she knew that she was, you know, if she was going in the wrong direction, he would come and steer her as well. Because I guess yeah, she had so many hats to juggle. Um, but it's definitely beautiful and definitely a, a wonderful experience to have the creator there and then at your disposal um and as much as she allows as much as it was her idea she also allowed space for collaboration so I could come to her and say Terry says this but I'm not sure I, I don't think Terry I'm not sure how do you feel about this and Michaela was so open to speaking about it and um allowing me to put my stamp on the character as well so um it was definitely an ex a beautiful experience to have her in the scene, directing, doing everything. Um, yeah. yeah, she smashed it. <laughs> <laughs> and you really, you know, Arabella and Terry are friends since childhood. They're very uh, bonded together and you really buy the two of you having that relationship. Was that kind of chemistry immediately there for, for both of you? Strangely enough, yes. Um, when we met at the audition, my third audition, I remember walking into the room and Michaela's a very engaging person. She's like one of those people who will be in the moment when she's doing something. So she sat there staring at me and I was like, okay. <laughs> and, um, but we did the scene together and it was just so natural. It didn't feel forced. And then uh, we had a chat afterwards and there was just this chemistry in the air. I remember leaving feeling like, oh, that was cute. That was, that was so nice. Um, so I guess we just struck, we just struck, um, I can't think of the word now, but yeah, it worked. It just clicked. And obviously the more we spent time together on set, the the tighter the bond grew and the more chemistry we had together and brilliantly worked out for these two best friends on screen. And um, yeah, it kind of showed the bond coming through, which is magical. <laughs> yeah. Um, <clears throat> there's a, there's actually, Terry has like a, horrible audition experience uh, where that casting director asks her to take off her wig and it's uh, it's like you watch and just go oh no god get her out of there um, <laughs> major cringe <laughs> yeah do you think that because there's a lot of moments in the series where terry sort of has to overcome a lot of confidence issues with her acting and like she doesn't go into audition mm -hmm. rooms and she backs out of uh, reading arabella's uh, excerpt do you think it comes from experiences like that because that's such a major, you know, reoccurring thing in her life? Um, could you ask that question again? <laughs> like the the moments of um, maybe lack of confidence she has in her acting or second guessing her acting ability. Do you think that comes yeah. from experiences like that audition room? Um, yeah, I'm sure, 100%. I mean, as an actor myself, um, I have had terrible auditions which have put me off for a while. Um, so definitely things like that affect your confidence. I think people see actors as you put together people on screen, but there's so much that happens behind, you know, the closed doors. We go on hundreds of auditions and told no hundreds of times. So um, these, those things do can affect you going forward. And I think that definitely had played a part in Terry's um, I think there is a bit where she says she keeps on going for auditions and she doesn't get anything, but she gets back up and she keeps going because that's what you have to do. So those those bad auditions do make them, they do have an effect, but um, I guess you've just got to power through it. And we saw Terry power through it and um, got her commercial at the end of it. So, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I also appreciate because there's a lot of stuff in the show, uh, you know, that is very heavy and um, very mm. dramatic. But Terry's also a source of levity. Uh, I think Michaela sort of charts a bit of drama and comedy very well. Is that difficult for you when, when like to sort of chart that tone shift when 
otherwise there's very heavy uh, subject matter happening on set? I wouldn't say so much because we all know in life anyways, even in the moments of like deep darkness or tragedy, there are these light moments, you know. Um, you see people go from hysterically crying to hysterically laughing. <laughs> do you know what I mean? You're like, which one are you doing? You're laughing or you're crying? And I think uh, Michaela did a fantastic job in balancing the deep and the dark with the bright and the light. Do you know what I mean? Which is, I think, reflective of life, the ups and the downs, the peaks and the troughs. So I think, um, yeah, I think it's very just reflective of life and the ups and downs of it and the beauty and the fun and the love in the darkness at the same time. You had mentioned before that um, you, you felt comfortable collaborating and saying, oh, if this line doesn't feel quite right, you could say something to Michaela. Are there specific mm -hmm. aspects of Terry you identify with and, and connect with uh, that you feel like you're similar to her? Um, yeah, I mean, she's a bubbly, energetic woman with me. <laughs> <laughs> um, I think there are similar traits of, um, Terry to Uruche and exactly just the energy in that sense um I don't know if I could say anything else particularly I mean we're both young black women in London acting I've experienced with the whole acting stuff the bad audition so I do mm -hmm. know about that so I guess there was some sort of you know likeliness to my life when I was able to draw from something to mm -hmm. give to Terry um but I think it's just a balance really of being able to go in and out of her, giving her some characteristics of mine that Michaela was like, I want you to do that. I do this thing with my finger a lot when I talk. And I think there was a scene where I was doing it and then the director, Sam came over and he was like, I like that finger, keep it. <laughs> and then I was doing it in everything and he was like, okay, too much of the finger now. <laughs> and I was like, okay, cool. <laughs> so there are elements of me that do come through, but tempered, you know, mm -hmm. and controlled. because. They're two different people. <laughs> yeah. One of the other things about her that, well, every character really, you know, Terry is very loyal and I, I would say she becomes like a protector uh, of um, Michaela Cole's character. But um, mm. there's moments like, even though all the characters are trying to do it right, like even though Terry's trying to do everything right and help her friend, there's moments where she also gets it wrong. Um, mm -hmm. and you know, it's very human in that way. What, what was it like reading those parts where she does sort of like maybe mess up or, or doesn't do it correctly? When I first had a discussion with Michaela after reading it, I said to her that I didn't like Terry because Terry had been instrumental in this traumatic event that happened in her life. And I was like, Terry's a terrible friend. That was what I said to Michaela the first time and she said, that she didn't want anyone to be a villain in any of this because like you said in life you try to get it right some things are going to go wrong and it's literally just human nature so i had judged terry to start off with but after that conversation with michaela and realizing that it is humanity you know that you know good intentions don't always end up how you want them to and i think that's the beauty of what we see in i may destroy you and all the characters where you see those actual real life situations like um, Terry, you know, is instrumental in this traumatic event. And she, the episode where she, um, where Arabella finds out that Terry had a hand in it. I mean, at that point, that was a very beautiful scene for me because Arabella was within her right to decide to completely end the friendship at that point, but she chose to continue with it. And that for me was a very beautiful moment because it's like, in spite of the flaws, I know that in your heart, you did not mean to hurt me. And that is literally what it's like in human relationships. You know, stuff happens sometimes. And um, I think Michaela did a fantastic job in painting these characters in their humanity. And I think that's what allows us to really relate to them and to enjoy to see them because it's what happens in real life, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, well, I'd also, just love you to speak on what has it been like experiencing everyone getting to know this show because it has really kind of exploded in popularity both in critical success uh you are all BAFTA nominees and also audience success which not every show gets both of those you know tracks. <laughs> uh, 
So what has it been like watching people consume this and fall in love with it? It's been a joy. Um, I'll say that because I would like to think that I want to make work that changes things, that affects people. And I have seen instances online of people saying how it's helped them, you know, pro process maybe something they've been through or it's educated them about, you know, I mean, I was definitely very educated on the show. Every day was like, I didn't know about this. I didn't know what this was. I didn't know there was a word for this. I didn't, do you know what I mean? And so um, being a part of a project, a, a TV project that has been entertaining, that I, I believe has been life-changing, that is going to make a difference in society at some point, if it hasn't already, um, definitely life-changing for myself. Um, and everyone involved, it's been received so well. And it's, honestly a joy to be part of something I believe is historic. Well, uh, Wariche, congrats on the success of the series. Uh, everyone who's out there thank watching, you. make sure you subscribe to Gold Derby, keep up to date with us throughout the season. And thank you again for, for sitting down talking with me. Thank you for having me.